David Bowling from Racing's Inside Track, and here at Punchestown with Damien McGillick, assistant trainer to Noel Mead. How are you, Damien? Not so bad, not so bad, Bob. That's good. Damien, um, you're with Noel a long time now. Yeah, 28 years now, a long time there. They have school now, so I left school and went straight into the racing. And so you must be there longer than anybody else then. Well, the foreman there, he's there 40 years now, so he's, it's a, a Nick group more like a lot of people are there. Riona drives the box, Emma there as well. She's their assistant as well, so it's a good few staff there a long time, you know, so... And it's a quiet evening this time of year now, but you've three runners this evening. We've three runners this evening, two main hurdles, Major Destination, Lady Singing the Blues, and then one of the bumpers as well. So hopefully that we can get a winner. The horses have been running well, haven't they? Yeah, they're running well. good start the season now, so hopefully that may continue. You know, because we've about 15 at the moment, so it's busy for this so time. So it's busy, busy year, for this you know, time, yeah. So. And last season was obviously very good as well. Yeah, we had over 60 winners now. We had um, Disco was a big success. He won two great ones, and then Rose to uh, Respect. Won the powers and won a champ mm. as well, so it's been a, a good year now, especially. So, hopefully, we'll have a good season again this season with a better. And when we get later into the year, getting take into it in the in the winter months, how many would you hope to have in well, for the year? He's boss is buying a good few at the moment, now, so hopefully, it's probably about 120 with a better look. So, we've a lot of new horses bought from the point to point game, and then the, the Lamb Rover sale is coming up and the Derby sale is coming up, so he'll probably end up buying a few there for other owners as well. So, hopefully. And get another superstar because last year we got uh, this year we got Red Jack, yeah. which looks a nice prospect for the new year. So um, he won his bumper in this as a four year old, and then won the big um, tassels racing various, and he looks a really nice prospect. JP bought him, so hopefully we'll have a great success with him. You know. Yeah, definitely. And going back, I can remember so many good ones out in Owls, but sure, you must yeah, be involved. You've you, you've been involved with very Nick, good ones. Nick was my first real big celebrity as a person. I led him up to bet them and. He in the, the used to be the Sun Alliance yeah, at that time, so two and a half miles. Yeah, two and a half miles. So that was a great day over there. And then half of I placed twice in the Gold Cup, and then I panned Ram as well. He was another good one. And Rose Riches was a good success there the last couple of years. He's won the Gold Play at the James Dickinson, and then was toured in the Gold Cup. You know what I mean? So Archie Ball as well. Yeah, Archie Ball as well. So it's been a good goal here. It was another good horse we had as well. So yeah, he's very good. Yeah, so hopefully now. He won a Supreme Novices. Yeah, it's always hard to get rid of the good ones, but this year we had a good season of three great ones, so hopefully we can build on that, you know. So it's all about keep going to the next level because Gordon Elliott and Willie Mullins are, have the bar real high and you just have to keep trying to get them. When you get a great one, it's an extra bonus, you know what I mean? So. You never get bored again, them good ones, anyway. No, no, we get the good ones, it gives them, especially giving them the mornings early in the mornings, when you get a good big one, one like them, it's good, you know, it's good crack because in the yard now we've got. Bond the staff, you know. I mean, it's every time we went a big grade one like that, one of the girls in the yard, trees and all them organised, also party. So everyone in the yard for a bit of cracking, to be good fun, you know. So keep you close to together. Out, yeah, you need to close them together in the whole yard because if you don't have that, you know, it's all every day. It's good crack behind the left, you know. So. No, I know you're you're tight for time. You you have a runner in the next, but um, just tell people a little bit about what you do day in day out. Well, I get up and I'll be in most mornings, I'll be in about quarter past seven, probably to go in and be organising all the, the staff and getting the board organised before the boss comes up and more say, getting the lots. We Mostly when the busy time, we'll have five lots, so you'll have two, and then you go for breakfast, then another three, and then in the afternoon, you organise the horse in the paddocks, brushing over, organising the race, and then all that sort of stuff around the yard, you know. So it's it's a busy, it keeps you going all day, you know, so it's busy enough, you know. And would you be racing when Noel's not racing? Is that the way it oh, works? Oh, no, I mostly. Sometimes I come race, but I more to be based in the yard. You know, a few times I come race, I wouldn't go race as much as I used to. So I'd be more based in the yard. So he goes racing there every time he can go. You know, so. Sure, but it'd be a silly question to ask, but you you obviously love it. Oh yeah, it wasn't in it. You know, I mean, sometimes it's me. It's a bit like a drug. You know, and that's the way you love it. You know, I mean, you need to. My father was was a jockey for a while, and my grandfather. So I get really from that side. You know, so there, my father still watches and he loves to race as well. So. You have, to, you have to be in yeah. the girl has to be in it. surely do and I know you mentioned a couple of good horses for next year but no but if there's one what stands out the most to look forward to for well, the winter do you think I think definitely Red Jack okay he'd be one coming through he looks very impressive he looks really impressive and even from his break the last time he's got stronger and bigger now he's got home to Martin, Martin send down and go. so when he comes back from now he'll say look a million dollars as they all do you know so hopefully he can go there bigger and hopefully Disco can get to the next level roads respect. Yeah, definitely. They're like right nearly 160, so they're not far off, it, so hopefully they can take, take the next step onto the, the big one, maybe Gold Cup one, and can make it to a Gold Cup partial with a better luck, you know. That's good. Well, listen, Daniel, it was good to meet you, and uh, best luck for the season ahead. No, well, thanks, mate. Cheers.